today I'm going to be teaching you guys all about this map right here on your screen. This is going to be the location of every single loot cache on Earth's Extend that you guys can choose from to get your loadout as fast as possible. A lot of these are by buy stations and redeploy balloons. And these are basically going to be easy ways to get up to $7,000 per stash to get a quick loadout, avoid fighting enemies, and just have an easier time with you and your squad to just kind of get that loadout and continue on your game. I will be showing you a few different spots alongside my favorite spot, which will be the last one of what you guys can do starting with this drop right here this is a perfect drop for it we are going to land right at the corner of this building in Popov Tower, and we are going to show you the first set of locations that you can kind of go to to find yourself an easy one. Now, this one might actually be a little bit more congested just because this is a kind of a hot drop, but if you land at the corner of the building, you're going to see right here the first location, boom, we get a bunch of money, gas mask, and I think we got a raw. We already have $7,500, which can literally get us a loadout right away by any of these buys. But instead of just doing that and getting a loadout quickly, I'm going to go to another stash location, which is closer to kind of guarantee that you got to get this one. And especially if you're playing with a squad, you guys can kind of land on separate ones. But this next one is here by this tree. We grab this, we kind of get that, and then we fly away. Now there's one more spot towards the buy station. So we're going to hit this PRD and you fly all the way over here to where the buy is. This buy is right there. This stash is behind a rock over here, and that is the third stash. Now, you can see in the short amount of time, I fought no enemies. I got $11,000, and I was able to buy a loadout right away. This next one is going to be a little bit different of a drop just because of the fact that this is probably a better one for squads and instead of solos. I wouldn't recommend here. Well, I guess it depends on, like, you know... If you get the drop for solos and it's ordinary, like, I mean, the, the military base, this can actually work for you. But the reason why I like this for squads a little bit more is that there is four of them in this top corner on that attack map. So you have four stashes, which is perfect for squads to get the most amount of money really, really quick. If all members of your squad all land on separate ones, you'll get them really quickly. We have a buy station up here. There's one in this one, one in that one. There's one on this hill somewhere over there. And then there is one in the water right here so we're gonna dive in the water first then we're gonna work our way up and show you how much money you can get on four of these if you do it really quick so first one boom got money did i get all the money i did got a uav self of five very very nice so now we're gonna get out of the water we're gonna get out of the water there we go and we're gonna run up this hill the next one is going to be on top of this hill and then after that is going to be those two places that i marked earlier and then that is four loot caches that you can get without probably fighting any opponents and finding them really quickly. So the next one is going to be on this hill to the right, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's up here on the map. Get a bunch of money and then move on. The last two are perfect because they're actually on their way to the buy in between these two right here. And then you have your buy station right to your left. So we make our way over to here. We open this loot stash and we have $7,500. Now, of course, there's going to be luck to these sometimes where you don't always get the big money out of them. And then sometimes you just get $7,000 right away and you're really rich. So we're going to see what this fourth one gives us. And then we're going to be on our way to the buy. So the last one right here, another one, a decent one. Got some UAVs, got some decent guns as well. And now we move over to the buy right away, especially even in a solo. You have money. And if you were in a squad of four, you can still kind of loot these buildings over here and probably find that money either way. So another really good way to loot get a loadout, but let's move on to my last one and favorite one that I'm going to show you guys in this video. And this last and final one is going to be my favorite. It's going to be more towards the center of the map, and it is going to happen over here by this gas station. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop off, and the reason why this one's my favorite is because it's more in the center of the map where there's more action and rotations available. There's a gas station nearby and also just a lot of loot. So we actually might have some company here. Never mind. I would have been very surprised. But uh, we're also going to play this one out and kind of talk through my thought process of why I'm playing this game the way I am and kind of give you guys some tips and tricks on how to just get better at the game too on top of showing you this. So you saw that first one, you parachute to this one and then boom right here. Even if you're not lucky enough to get the loadout right away, I have a gas station to loot here and a bunch of houses over towards this buy station right here. So this is a very fast way to do it. Over here, we've got some cash registers, which is a guarantee every single time. And then, of course, you have more loot. And you're going to kind of come out of here with this a lot of money and just good items almost every single time in general. There is going to be someone near me. I was going to say you can kind of land here and loot. So there is someone near me. He hears me. I'm going to have to run and reset because he did a lot of damage right there. I hear him chasing me. I'm going to use this door. Kind of mess with him. I hear him outside right now on like dirt. So I think he's over here. Yep. No way I just got killed by a mosquito drone, dude. You know how many times I've tried to do that in these videos if you guys have watched me? And again, if you guys have watched me as well, you've seen me do this exact strat a lot. 
and it's usually very successful. So this is my favorite one to do, especially for solos, because this is not the best one for a lot of money since it's only two of them, but you're going to have a very good chance of getting your loadout, action, and just a lot of other just accessible options. So we have enough money for a loadout. We're going to get this loadout drop and then be on our way, and I'm going to walk you guys through all the tips and tricks of what I'm going to be doing, kind of at a medium pace, not world record pace, but just in general show you guys how to be a little bit more advanced when you're playing the game and just kind of... Just, to, I don't know, walk through my thought process. You guys can see on the screen, we have the controller, which is the brand new thing that I'm going to have to some of my videos, not all of them, of just, you know, my controller, the buttons I'm hitting. And that is actually my controller design as well on BattleBeaver.com. So if you guys want to check that out, you guys can. But either way, we had a lot of money. We got our loadout. And now we're going to go look for some action. If there is no action and there's nothing happening on your minimap, you hear no gunshots, what you want to do is kind of get a bounty, get a car or a balloon, and just get to, you know, moving and finding people and keeping that cash high. So let's do it. All right, so let's grab this bounty. We got the bounty. If we get this bounty, it's $7,000, and we have an LTV, and the bounty's over here. We're going to take this and just kind of get to moving around and just trying to get some kills, keep that cash high. A big thing in Warzone is keeping the cash high, and that's why when you become a better player and you get a little bit more aggressive, not ridiculously aggressive, but just a little bit more aggressive, you tend to win more games because you're actually taking space from your en enemies, controlling that map, and just having more cash for UAVs, info, and so on and so forth with just anything with your squad. So we got this guy over here. We're going to throw a ping on him just so I kind of have an idea on my screen too. Sometimes the pings don't always work, but... You know, worth a try. Now we're gonna use this big LTV to kind of get info before we get into this fight. We want to find exactly where he's at, where he's at if he shows himself. So he's probably gonna be in this building. I'm looking for him. If he's been sitting in a building like this, he's probably not the best player. But I could be wrong. He could be a demon. And now that we haven't really been able to see him, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop out. Up, oh, we found him. We're gonna cook a grenade since he has high ground. He's probably not gonna jump at us. Throw it at him. Make him weak. And now that he's weak, what he's going to probably do is back down and heal, right? So when he's back down, backing down and healing, what you want to do is take space. And what I mean by that is get closer to your opponent or take map control so you can find him. So we knew he was in this balcony under me. Now we have space. We have high ground. He doesn't know exactly where I'm at. I am in the driver's seat of this gunfight now. I hear him opening doors down there. He's panicking. He's most likely not going to expect me to come through this balcony. So what we're going to do is do that exact thing. He jumps off the balcony. We're going to keep high ground. We made him weak. We're going to take that space, and then we're going to break it down. So we're going to go ahead, go to this buy station, get a UAV, and just keep trying to find some more people to uh, uh, run around and kill. Really quick, if I get a little bit more money, I will have money for a self-revive and a UAV, which would be really clutch. So I hear a bunch of boxes. Someone just looked at me. Someone just set off my high alert. And I don't know. There they are. Somewhere to the right. So what we're going to do... Just stay on our toes here. Throw a smoke grenade. Get this. Call the UAV in. And now we know he's up to the right somewhere in this building. So, see if I can find him. He's on the, There he is. So, that's his head. Oh, nice shots right there. Going to back up. And you use these windows right here to make sure he's not pushing me. I'm going to center my aim. I'm going to peek out again. Now, if he backs down here, it looks like he's still above me. He kind of ran away, though. He is running. So what we're going to do is push him now that he's running away. He's not that much of a confident player. I'm going to ping where he was so I don't forget while I am driving at him. And I'm going to use this to see if I can catch him running in the open field. So now I don't think he could have got away. And he definitely didn't get away. So instead of getting out right here, I'm just going to stay in the car and just do that exactly. Because there's nothing he could really do. He's most likely not going to be good enough if he's playing like that to like shoot me out of the car. Just because those are pretty hard shots. So kind of read the situation. See that he's not the best. Nothing wrong with that, and just kind of, you know, con continue to move on here. So we have four thousand dollars, which is enough for a self revive. So we are going to do that exactly by going to a buy station, making sure we have a self revive, and then continuing to find some action. We're gonna hop out here. We're gonna make sure that we have our smokes on the buy, buy the self revive, and get moving. I think I just heard a footstep on me. Oh, there's a guy up there though. So that's good. This guy's peeking. I make him weak, so immediately what I'm going to do is take the space and throw some grenades. He's most likely not going to eagle chow through that roof because he's going to have to jump on the roof to do so. We have him weak. We backed him down. He's not peeking. So that tells me he's either not the most confident player after being fully plated or he's completely run away. So I'm going to use this balloon, scout it out. I don't see him up here, so what I'm going to do is land on high ground. We have a boat to our left. Hold up. We're going to keep this guy under us and look at this boat to kill the guy in the boat because the guy in the boat was a free kill now we're gonna go back to this i'm listening for his footsteps 
I don't hear anything. So the next thing we're going to do is start clearing stuff out. So slide cancel corners. Open some doors. That door just didn't fully open, which means I think he's behind it. Nope. But I just heard some footsteps under me. And that's where he was. There you go. And again, right here, you notice I'm going to slide and center as I'm sliding down, just so that makes it an easy kill. So all the tips and tricks videos that I've given to you, you can kind of see them come to life right there as well. Buy ourselves a UAV, and then hit this balloon to our right. Now, you can stay in the LTV too. It's not a bad play. But the reason why I prefer the balloon is just because usually you get a lot more information in the balloon, and it's just a lot faster for travel. You can land on another car, and so on and so forth. So pop this UAV. We're going to use this balloon here. We got some people to our left, but honestly, they're just kind of out of the zone right now. Let's rotate and be a little bit smarter. You don't want to get caught on the edge too much because that's when you can honestly just put yourself in a situation that no matter how good you are, you're going to lose. Doesn't seem like anyone's near this balloon, so what I'm going to do is chain these balloons. I see these gunshots over here. That's all I'm going to need. I'm going to now hit this balloon. See that there's one, two, three people on my minimap, and we are going to go right for it. So I'm going to land really aggressive here because these guys are fighting. I'm going to see if I can get a third party. I hear some shots down here. Got a kill. If he killed one and I just killed that, that should mean there's only one more person out here max. There could have That guy could have died, though. So either one person here max or they're dead. Some gunshots just went down here. This was probably the third guy, and there must have been a fourth if this guy just got a kill. So we are going to, again, approach this a little bit slower. Listen for some gun steps here. Uh, gun steps. Listen for some footsteps. So I hear some footsteps. I think they're in this building. Ow. There's mines there. That's terrifying. Now, this guy's still trying to pre-fire through the wall. I see him right there, so I'm going to center my aim here. Peek out. See if this guy chases. He took there you go. Perfect. That's just the interceptor being godlike. Now, we have an LTV over here. The LTV just got out up top. So instead of running uphill at this LTV, which would be kind of crazy, I'm going to actually run to this balloon and then go back towards the UAV. Now, keep an eye that we are hunted. He just This guy just called the loadout. Just a random guy in the field. We're just going to, you know, shoot that guy. I don't know what that guy's doing. Someone just shot that balloon down. Wow. All right. Strategy has changed. We kill this one guy right here. The balloon is gone. So I'm going to run up this hill in a different way and kind of take a building first. I think my biggest tip for a lot of people are you don't want to be overly aggressive and just run at people stupidly. You can do that if you want to have some fun. But you want to get towards the action, get good map position, and then find, like, your fight. So, like, you know, where is this guy? He called a loadout over here. He could have ran away. He could have obviously stayed in this building. So if I don't have any info, I'm going to approach this slowly. But for now, I'm just trying to see if I get any high alert or anyone looking at me. Doesn't seem like I do. So now that I've got no, no action, my next move is going to be approaching this slowly. I'm going to remove the ping. And I'm going to push up towards here. Now, you can hop on most of these ACs with those... With those AC vents around them. We saw that this right here... As soon as I saw that that was this uh, uh, mine place right there, I immediately knew there's probably a guy in this building or this guy's probably never left, and we're going to need to use that. So that's obviously just using the map information just to kind of have an idea of what's going on. But we see that there's a mortar strike over here. So that probably tells me that there's someone around this hill. Someone just took a snipe at me as well. So I'm going to, you know, shield myself from that sniper, but keep an eye on my left side right now. Probably going to, you know, get off this open hill because people can roll up in so many different angles. I don't have a lot of cover. You feel like you have a lot of cover up here, but realistically, your entire backside is exposed. So I'm going to jump off here, use my parachute movement, mantle onto this, and then mantle onto this roof. Again, a little bit safer of a place. So if people do come behind me, we're in a good spot. Pretty sure I just heard some footsteps under me. And we got this car pulling up. I'm going to hop up, try and get this car if I can. And again, if you notice, I'm only taking a few shots and then getting down. Standing on the ledges of roofs are also going to get you killed or someone's going to do a lot of damage before you can get down. So we know there's a guy under us. And we know that kind of nothing else is around. So we're going to approach this by dropping down on this balcony, sliding here, and then sliding here. Now I'm going to use my movement as much as I can here. You can see that we see a claymore in there, which means he probably has one more. We're going to jump in and chow. There you go. That's perfect. I saw that this claymore was here. I was assuming that there was another claymore on this doorway. So what I wanted to do was split the defense by jumping through here and then fight that guy either in this corner or obviously in this building. He challenged me and kind of just didn't hit that good of shots. Honestly, he probably could have killed me if I was doing that because I was trying to talk to you guys instead of just like straight up chow. And now this is the big moment. There's 20 people left. I got 10 kills. Every other kill should realistically come to me if I play this smart and slow. Uh, and yeah, so let's work our way probably towards this buy station if we can. We don't have to rush it and see if we can get some UAVs for info. 
Now, a big thing while you rotate too, you notice I rotate straight up into this corner of the building. I'm playing these close angles just to make sure if someone does catch me off guard, I have my two smoke grenades that I can kind of get into a building, throw them at my feet and have some cover. So while I'm now running around, making sure again, while I cross streets, I'm kind of just staying like real vigilant of what's going on with my surroundings. And now we're going to move up towards this hill. So keep moving, keep sliding. So I'm a hard target is just in case anyone sees me. Gonna have to kind of cross this open field, open street, not field. Doesn't like seem like I see a lot of people, but with this being a portable buy station, most likely there's going to be people near here. So, kind of have a head on a swivel here. Check this out. Gonna throw a smoke here. Use this to get a UAV. Call this. Get one more UAV and a muni box. And now we're gonna run back in the cover. Throw this muni box down. Throw this in our inventory. And now this is the time where I haven't used my gas mask this entire time, honestly. Because I just don't think you need it in the beginning of the games. And it's kind of annoying to have on your screen. But now that we're getting closer to that end game, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to put on that mask. And let's see. So we have a guy in this money building on my minimap. So we're going to try to get to this gunfight and see what we can do with this dude. We have a guy on the right as well. He was at this shack, so I don't forget it. He was at that shack. So we're going to have to see what we can do. So we're going to pop one more UAV. Why not? He's still at that shack. He's out of the circle. So if we can kill this guy in this building... We should be in a good spot. So I'm going to climb this ladder. Hopefully he's not on the roof. I had a feeling he wasn't because I didn't see him up there. We're going to keep this guy under us. And now we're going to have an easy kill of this guy being held at the shack. So that's why I keep this ping here. So I know exactly where to look. I see him on the shack. And now we're going to wait until this guy has to move into the gas. Get this kill and then focus the guy under us. The gas is about to push the guy that we're holding out. So now we're going to wait. And this is why you should never be this guy kind of hugging the gas. It's always going to put you in a, almost an unwinnable spot. He's going to be some pretty easy shots here. Have him really weak. I'm going to throw a grenade. Let it bounce in there. Good smoke out of him. So it's not a bad play. But he's still going to be stuck behind here. And we still have a guy under us. So we're still in basically the driver's seat here. This guy can't get any farther than behind this shack. So we're not in a terrible position right now. This guy's got to move again. And a big play of what I want to do right now is kind of like see if I can. Oh, well, he is sniping. Oh. I got on my left, too. Who just looked at me to my left? That guy is over here. So I'm going to challenge this guy. Crack that guy down him. Doesn't look like I'm going to get the full kill here. Keep an eye on that guy if I can. This guy's still sniping here. So instead of, like, peeking up, I'm going to snake here, use some movement. And now I'm not going to fully peek. I see him here. I'm going to back up. I'm going to try and let that grenade bounce into his face and down him. So what I'm going to do here, I know there's a guy under me. But I'm going to make sure I get this kill. And now I put myself in not the best position. But the reason why I did this is because I knew I had some extra smokes. There's a guy in here. So what we're going to do is kind of get back towards this building. Knowing that there's a guy in here. I don't see him peeking. We're going to do the same thing. So I don't see this guy peeking. Which means I don't think he's going to peek a lot. We're kind of just going to hop up here. And just take the roof again because why not. So we're in a good spot. We know we downed this guy over here earlier. Doesn't look like he's going to be showing himself. We had someone looking at us over here. And we're getting sniped at or looked at on high alert over here. So now, the end game, this is kind of where the patience goes. Like I said, a lot of kills are going to come to you. Now, this is the big time where you don't want to panic. We got Mr. Whistler under us. But you can see that I'm going to ruin this guy's buy station really fast. And then I'm going to, instead of this, like, you know, freaking out and knowing I have to rotate, I have an orange gas mask. I have plenty of time to make a gas play. We know there's a guy over there. And then we know there's a guy looking at us like over here or something. So we're kind of just holding our ground. We see some shots that way. This guy's pretty far. We got this guy over here. And then we got a guy to our right. So we have one, two, three. And then the fourth guy is under us. We know where everyone is on the map. Now it just comes down to execution. Can we get our gunfights? We had a guy to the left. Guy over there. Guy to our right. And a guy under us. We don't have to worry about the guy under us. We do have a mask. So I'm taking my money that he doesn't have an orange mask. If he does, then it's a fair fight. This guy just got that kill from the left house. I heard some silent shots that way. And then we had a guy to our right over here. So, again, not going to panic. You're just going to kind of wait. And then what I want to do eventually is smoke towards that building because that is cover. And then I'm going to be able to play my close range gunfight after that. So, I have my whole thing mapped out. So, I'm going to do some shots here. Get a kill. Don't want to use my mask, so I'm going to stay on the edge of the building. Now, I'm going to use my mask. Get some shots off there. We do have a guy under us. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-pop a smoke. I'm going to throw the smoke this way. And hopefully not get shot at. 
And here, again, I can sit in my smoke. I can sit in my mask. I'm fine. This mask is about to end, though, so I have to push. I'm going to pre-fire the window. I got a, The last guy's behind me. So what I'm going to do is run towards this side. And I'm going to let this guy self-revive. Let these two fight. Stay behind this mask. I mean, stay behind this orange. You know the haystack. This guy got out to the left. There's still two people alive. And again, now the worry, the worry with this is the guy on my left is a problem. And the guy on the right is not dead. So I'm going to have to make sure I kill this guy on the left if I could. But also worry about the guy on the right. So this guy to my left. Oh, I was going to say I have to chow the guy on my right. And then go to the left and kill that guy. But unfortunately, I just put myself in a tough spot. I really needed to get that kill inside. I didn't because I had to run away from the fire shotgun. And I fall short. This was that striker loadout that I was using. Right now, I'm testing a bunch of different loadouts. Um, I know I just posted one recently. But again, I just like messing with a bunch of different kind of builds just for fun. Every every build that I ever do post on, on my YouTube channel, though, with you guys will be something that is very, very good. And something that I've used and that I like. I would never recommend something that I don't. But this is what I was testing out right there. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And as always, I'll see you guys next one. Peace.